2023 MLB Draft, the Detroit Tigers select Max Clark, an outfielder from Franklin Community High School, Franklin, Indiana. Max Clark. So that photo goes with this quote that USA 71% of Earth's surface is covered by water. The rest is covered by Max Clark. That's a gap rip, but it falls. Coming in and sliding the ball. Drops. No, he got the out. At 3.15, I go back to the high school, and that's my super high intent lift. Um, it's all hypertrophy. I mean, I'm talking four by four sets of squat, and it's eight reps, eight reps, eight reps, and then a max set. So it's really nice because I have that balance of like getting the body right in the morning, getting the athletic movement that you need to be a great athlete to stay where I am at that five-tool position. Having a little bit of break to go work on the swing, hone things in, and then that you really get after. I think my most impressive is probably my front squat, really? which I got up to 425. Dude. So wow, that's that for was, one. Yeah, for one. That's really so. impressive. <laughs> get out of here, ball. Bye, bye, ball. Uh oh. Hey, out of boy. Out of boy. I just had to criticize him a little bit. I just had to. Of the 2023 MLB draft, the Detroit Tigers select Max Clark. best high school prospects to ever come out of the state of Indiana, the 2023 Gatorade National Player of the Season. Year. The Tigers picked in the top five in the MLB draft. This year, going at three, Detroit selected outfielder Max Clark. He is 18 years old from Franklin Community High School in Indiana. He is the reigning Gatorade National Baseball Player of the Year. It was very, very personal. It was very, very man to man, which I really, really enjoyed. We all got to learn a lot about each other. Um, kind of the philosophy of the Tigers and how everything was going to go down if it went our way. Um, Mr. Harris has done a ton of really, really good things for myself as I've kind of carried through this process. And then obviously being selected by him was an honor. So super excited to be his first guy. And, you know, we're going to we're going to make some things great here in Detroit. Call from Sam just a couple minutes before. What's what's going through your head when that phone rings? Yeah, he uh, he texted me about 10 minutes prior and he said pits out. And that's when I knew I was like, it's going to be either three or four with Detroit or Texas. And I just had a call with the Tigers yesterday and it went really, really well. And I was man, uh, face to face with GM Scott Harris. So uh, we established a really good connection, spoke a ton of stuff man to man. It was fantastic. So uh, Sam calls me and he goes, guess what? And I was like, oh, no way, no way. And he was literally just, uh, Tigers are going to get you a Texas slot. And I was like, that's exactly what I wanted. So we're good. And uh, it's a truly a blessing. And, you know, I'm still kind of living the high right now. It's, it's unreal. It's surreal. He's Corbin Carroll 2.0. I don't know if you agree with that. What do you think of Max Clark? Well, I can tell you what, you know, if you look at the Tigers drafts, that really the best position they've taken in the first round since 2016 has been Riley Green another high school outfielder. What this draft does for them, it allows them to get Riley to a corner position in the outfield, take him off his legs, and let a pure center fielder play awesome. for them. Have they talked to you about where they're going to send you first? Or? Uh, I, they have not. Um, I would obviously assume I would start in rookie ball, um, go, up, go out to the Arizona Complex League, get, get my feet wet, and then uh, head up hell for Loa. So excited to get going. Must be nice. I, don't, I wouldn't want this. Max, it must be nice, Gary. Too much of a hassle. 
Yes, sir. Let's go. Come on, Clay. Get in there. Come on, Clay. Hey, you're up. You're up. You're up. 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 Out of there. Here. That's everything, man. Like we've talked about, you know, five or six articles in a row, this community is everything. And there's 600 people standing downtown at the amphitheater waiting for an appearance, and there were 200 people here loving and caring for me through this entire thing. The support has been absolutely unreal, and this is this is that long time coming that I've been waiting for. This is, this is awesome. And what do you know about Detroit, Max? Oh, dude, Detroit's awesome. I went up there for a little private workout, and it was, it was sweet. I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. Food's really good, um, and then the people were great. So it was, it was awesome. Let's go, Kit. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! smile is going to reign supreme in Detroit. Yeah, I mean, I think it is maybe the toolsiest player in this class. It's double plus speed. It's double plus arm strength. It's plus defense in center field. He's one of the best pure hitters in the class. I think the only real question you have with Matt Clark is how much power is he going to get to? He's plenty strong, but what sort of home run production are we looking at? Yeah, and we're not talking like he's a slappy guy. It's like, is it yeah. 20 homers? Is it 25 or 30? He has the most well-rounded tools of these five guys. We're talking at the top of the draft. You know, coming from a state like Indiana, and you recruit all over the country, where do you stand on level of competition for high school players? I think it's important. I think with him, he's done it on all the stages, so area code games, Team USA. It's twitchy athlete, bat speed, arm speed, running speed, and you got to love the confidence that he plays with. Yes, sir. Let's do it. See you guys. Thank you. Go Tigers. Go Tigers! Go Tigers!